Okay, what if I told you that there was a Battle Royale game that's been released that started out as a joke? It was just a joke. It wasn't meant to be serious or real, but now it's a thing that you can download on Steam and play. Some games are planned, some games start as an April Fool's joke. That's what happened here. This game is called Cuisine Royale, and the reason as to why it's called Cuisine Royale will become apparent in just a second. Let's just back up. You may or may not have heard of an upcoming World War II game called Enlisted. You'd be forgiven for not knowing about it because it's currently in pre-alpha, there's not been much marketing for it. But back on April 1st, the developers released something called Cuisine Royale. It was entirely meant as an April Fool's joke, but after its release, players actually kind of enjoyed it. And so the game is now available for free on Steam as a separate game. Pretty crazy how it's come around to be honest, but for the most part, the game is pretty fun, I have to admit. Now I mentioned this game being free, but it's currently in early access, and if you download it before June 25th on Steam, you'll be able to keep the game for free. However, after that point, the devs have said that it's likely to become a paid game to cover the server expenses and further development. I don't think the studio is big enough really to supplement a completely free to play title. Judging by the current state of the game and the scope for its development I don't expect it though to cost more than like 10 to 15 dollars and I think any more than that would just be way too expensive for this game in its current state. So let's be absolutely crystal clear from the outset this game is rough around the edges to say the least. It's in early access so you've got to accept that to a certain extent but it's also based on a game that itself is in pre-alpha. The core mechanics of the game though are relatively sound, so the gunplay and movement are pretty fluid. You can lean, vault and even go prone, and the world itself is not too bad either. I found myself using the foliage from time to time as some pretty good cover. The reeds and grass move out the way as you go through them amazingly. The performance is pretty good too. The game runs well, even if it's a little bit lacking in graphical options. And when I say lacking, well, there really isn't many options at all. That being said, I encountered numerous bugs, including a player under the map in the last zone of the game that I won. It's just me and him left, but he was seemingly shooting me from beneath the map, at least it seemed to be that way, before I was finally somehow granted a victory. These sort of things are to be expected from a game so early in development, I think, but you need to be aware of them. The back-end UI is also extremely rough and basic. It screams of a game that was quite literally put together as a joke without any expectation of it ever getting a full release. And the game crashed a few times for me when I was trying to rebind some controls and the menu itself isn't exactly what you'd call polished. The game itself though plays fairly similar to any other BR. The zone moves in and it has some really strange noises that are honestly a little freaky when you're standing pretty close to it. I had to do a double check a few times to work out what on earth the noises were. I will say this though, that the zone timings need some serious work because Cuisine Royale is currently only 30 players and the speed of the zone is incredibly slow at times. And here I'm talking about the time it takes for each zone to start moving in and the speed at which it moves when it's closing in on you. Both could do with being sped up, in my opinion. Ideally, I think it would be better with more players, but if they're going to stick to 30 players, then the game needs to just be sped up a lot. It could easily be increased significantly with no negative impacts to gameplay, I think. Now, the way that Cuisine Royale differs from other games is its looting mechanics. As I'm sure you've seen, they are quite unique. It's called Cuisine Royale after all, I can't say that seriously. And the game is described as an all kitchen warfare <laughs> battle royale game. It's just a bit mad. Now when you run around the world you find armour, like you would expect in any BR game. However armour is found in the form of kitchenware. <laughs> So you may find a colander as a helmet or perhaps a large wok as some protection for your back. Or maybe even that waffle maker could be good protection against some large caliber weapons. I'm being deadly serious, it's not just protection either, you can find items throughout the world that offer you certain bonuses. If you find a medical dropper it will provide you with accelerated health regen or 
a set of glasses that will improve weapon accuracy and you can also find items that will increase your overall movement speed. In terms of weapons you've got some classic World War II weaponry in here because the game itself is based around the same setting of the core game enlisted which we mentioned earlier. You'll find Car 98s, Mosin Nagants, MP18s as well as slightly more modern weapons like the AK-47 and there is a basic attachment system too so if you find a car you can equip it with a long range sight. You'll find plenty of food stuff to heal yourself with too and when you kill someone you're bound to find lots of pizzas. So stock up I guess. That's one of the other poor parts of the game though. The system for picking up loot when you've killed someone is extremely messy and you can tell it's very early on in development and it's an area that needs a lot of work. The game even has vehicles. I encountered a player in a small transport vehicle. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but to be honest, it looked like a generic World War II era car or Jeep to me. There was definitely an army transport truck as well, although I was keeping up with the guy in that just by running, so I'm not sure exactly how useful that one is. The developers also claim to have the best loot box system in games. Free loot boxes in fact. They're scattered around the game and are free to open. The drop chance of what's inside is also guaranteed. Now despite all of this and it sounding absolutely ridiculous, I think that this game is actually pretty fun. The core mechanics work well and the gunplay isn't too bad and the whole looting system makes the game look downright daft but in a fun way. Walking around with a medical dropper on my arm, a large bag hanging off my wrist and perhaps a fire extinguisher on my hip is absolutely bonkers but it's a bit of fun and I suppose that's what this game is. It's incredibly rough around the edges and it will take some serious time and effort to be turned into something good. I don't see this as being a game that will stand the test of time, not for me at least. It's something that's popped up right away. It's a bit of a meme at the moment, a bit of fun for a short amount of time but I don't see the game keeping that many players. That being said, if you like the look of it and want to give it a chance, then you'd best get it downloaded on Steam right now while it's free. Who knows what the price will be when they start charging for it. And that's all guys. I never thought I would cover a game as ridiculous as this on my channel, but it was free. I downloaded it and it was pretty fun and just absolute madness. So yeah, give it a go. Let me know what you think down in the comments below guys. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.